Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for July 1st, 2019. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services tab. These are more spiritual counseling sessions. So if you are really interested in soul growth, this is the reading for you. Okay, so let's get into the auto write. I just said, we'll take what you want to offer. <laughs> That's how I put it out there. And they said, take heart. These experiences may be out of the out of the comfort zone for some. Remember what we have said. Struggling to hold on to old beliefs will only have you tumbling down. And then where will you be? You'll be in a low frequency and it'll be hard for you to pull yourself out of it. Um, or, you know, that's, that's, again, a very human way of putting it. <laughs> Much of the pain in the world is simply people struggling against their own nature, their own instincts, you know, having to be something that they're not. Um, having to go after a career that somebody else told them this is the way to make it, you know, or just in their nature, you know, feeling like they have to hide, right? Um, they go on to say, being a results-oriented society has driven some to madness and even, de and even denying their souls. So driven some people to madness and to denying their souls. Uh, when this occurs, the light is fed upon in others and they too begin to fall. So people just in their fear and their buzziness and their want to accomplish things, we lose sight of what's really important. We disconnect from our true nature. Putting it simply, we start to fall in frequency. And then when people are so conditioned and again, believing uh, what has already been fed to them, they start to deny their souls. Now they're running on fear and they have to feed off of other people. Now, people who are still very light-filled, okay, uh, they might have a sense that they have to share. They want to be good people. They're very empathetic, uh, empaths, <laughs> right? And so they end up getting drained, and now their frequency is lowering as well. I remember there was a time where I would not be very careful about that. You know, as a spiritual practitioner, I thought I was here to comfort people to make them feel good about themselves, you know, especially when they were going through hard times. And when I started to get depleted and I started to feel like I could barely get myself out of bed, if I set a boundary with anybody, they would go on a social media attack. Okay. This is the kind of result that we're talking about here. They would go on a social media attack, um, you know, saying, oh, this person's a fraud, you know, she's a scam artist. I've heard it all. I have heard it all. I've even gotten death threats um, because people didn't hear what they wanted to hear in a reading or, you know, they felt they were above the rules. And then when I was trying to work things out, they gaslit, you know, the whole situation. You know, th there are things that people will try to do just so they can feed off of you, right? And so ask yourself, you know, if we want a journaling topic this week, you know, where have you... Are, are you one of those people that you feel like you get fed upon uh, and you, you feel like you have to be there for everybody, you have to take on everybody else's problems? Or are you, you know, one that's like, you know what, I, I kind of lost my light a while ago and maybe this is just my, the beginning of my journey to try to get that back and try to open my soul again. Not that your soul actually goes away, but your, your human ego can shut it out, certainly, okay? And so you're not functioning with it. You're not working with it, <laughs> right? Okay. So they say, uh, restore yourselves. Enjoy this time you have. Enjoy this time you have here on earth, basically. Enjoy connecting with others. It is a time for fun and play, for a bit of relief. We love you always. God's angels in light. So, uh, you know, these are hard hitting messages here and it might be really hard to look at, but please don't leave out the fun, right? The lightheartedness. Yes, we can have, we can have balance between the two. Okay. It doesn't always have to always be like, oh, I'm having to, you know, get certain toxic people out of my life or however it starts playing out for each individual, or I have to get out of this job or I have to do this, that, and the other so that I can restore myself. You can do that as you are learning. You can do it simultaneously. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> I know. Uh, for me too, it's like, uh, I know in that example I was just giving, I had to really unplug for a little bit and back up and really ask myself, is this what I want to do? You know, because it seems like, 
it's like open season sometimes. And um, I had to come through that myself by going through what they're talking about here, right? And um, setting those boundaries and being truthful with myself. So let that be something that you contemplate this week. All right, let's get on to the cards. Okay, let's see what the cards say for July 1st, the week of July 1st. Oops, there's a card sticking right out. Co-creation. Okay, we're as I here's what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> Co-creation, tapping to our into our hearts, tapping into our true sense of self. It's all the stuff that the auto right was kind of getting to. And there's butterflies all over in this card as well. So that's transformation. Um, you know, I'm sorry, like I don't know if you can see that, but whenever artwork tries to portray that there's light in someone's eyes. It doesn't always read. It doesn't always read. <laughs> it almost, I don't, again, I don't know if you can see that, but it starts to look a little creepy sometimes. I don't know. But anyway, there's supposed to be light in your eyes, I guess, or something. Let me get the other cards. All right. So what do we have here? Uh... Okay, this, and it says crucifixion. As soon as this came out in the context of this reading, it feels like victimhood. Um, I think this more meant like how people will crucify themselves um, or feel like they're being crucified or will even say, oh my gosh, they're like basically crucifying me for how I believe. Um, this is, it's not like an actual thing. It's, it's a story people are telling themselves and that's part of the message. That's part of... Um, or feeling like life is really down on you. Okay, so let's be careful with that. We have acceptance, and then we have illumination. So yes, so we come out the other side, <laughs> right? Okay, so let me just get them in order as always. So co-creation. This is what we are, and it's not that you're learning how to do it. For some people, you're learning how to do this. But again, when people deny their souls, when they turn away from their true nature, um, now, now they're pulling on other people, right? Um, and, and part of that too, I've been saying this for years, there was a time, there was an era where people thought they were too precious to be human or something, um, too precious to handle any kind of bad news, too precious to hear anything going on in the world. And, you know, what you see in others is also in you. So there, this led to a lot of judgment and a lot of... Um, sort of spiritually diagnosing people <laughs> with negative energy. And this was really kind of holding up our transformation because what people were doing, uh, they were running instead of stopping, looking, processing, let's get through this, okay, <laughs> kind of thing. And now we're getting back on board. So this is definitely, I don't know if you can see the butterflies in there, but that is a symbol of transformation. But in order for that transformation to happen for you as an individual, and therefore you contribute to this sort of global energy, um, you need to be in your heart space from your heart intelligence, okay? Which means we have to let go of this. Life is so bad to me. Um, Everything I do, I get punished for. It's this person's fault. It's that person's fault. Now, listen, guys, I have been in scenarios, there were, you know, one of the places that I worked at, I had a boss call me into her office and accuse me of things I didn't do for 45 minutes. <laughs> for 45 minutes, threatening me and trying intimidation. And I walked out of there feeling completely crazy thinking like, okay. And one of the things that this person said was part of this person's gaslighting technique was to tell me that you know when I was trying to stand up for myself and say I didn't do that that didn't happen no it didn't oh Michelle you're always blaming everybody else so be careful when people are doing that to you okay um when they're trying to turn things around if you know the truth of something stand by it all right but um you know that was one of those things where when we say how do I explain this? When we say, you know, don't play the victim, that's different than when someone is trying to make you crazy and trying to manipulate you. Those are two different things that we're talking about here. Okay. If you know, like, no, that wasn't me. I'm not the one who did that. Stand your ground. But if you were somebody who's getting into victim mentality, oh, life is so hard on me. We can't do that. That's going to block you from creating and, uh, 
being where you need to be. Okay, so then we have acceptance. So this week is probably not a week where everything is going to be exactly as you planned, okay? <laughs> be ready for that. Or the realizations that come up, you, you might try to be like, okay, I'm just gonna be real chill about this. I'm gonna try to be really positive. But the fact of the matter is, is that I, you know, I can't change this right now. And maybe I don't like it. And I just have to accept that I don't like it right now. And it, it will become what it needs to become. But accepting past circumstances so that you can move past them. Okay. And then we get this. Yes. So illumination. You're illuminated about what is stealing your energy. You're illuminated about what's taking your power. Um, being in this mentality, this crucifixion mentality really does uh, hold you up. It holds you back. All right. So you're being asked to take an honest look at things. This might be, you know, taking accountability if you were in a scenario where, okay, fine, you called me out. I did do that. Right? Um, or whatever you can, you can learn from that. Okay. But this is definitely a feeling of coming out the other side and life, not looking the way you thought it would, but maybe it's surprisingly better. Okay. So I would shuffle, but there is a card, this color card is sticking right out on top. No, that's not what that, okay, got it. I got, I hear you guys, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm grabbing the color card deck. Let's see what our color card is for this week. Our color card is Aha, I should have said it. I was like, I feel like it's like lavender and lilac. <laughs> Here we go. So we have a lilac, uh, strengthen your faith. The number is 42. Again, this gets into that thing of, oh, you know, life is too hard. My dreams aren't manifesting fast enough. Um, you know, God's out to get me kind of thing or, you know, and I've had these moments myself, guys, when I do these readings, I'm not sitting here acting like I got all the answers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm right alongside of you. I'm just a messenger, right? So I'm here to pass this along to you. So they're saying a lot of times when our dreams aren't manifesting the way that we want, it's because there needs to be a little bit of a change to the plan or something else has to work out in order to get what you want. But strengthen your faith. Strengthen your faith. Things will turn around for you. They will. They're just not going to look the way you thought, perhaps. Um, it's not going to be in your timing. And I know people get so fed up of hearing that. I have people come and get personal reading requests. And they'll even put, like, in the email, do not tell me that it's about divine timing. I'm sick of hearing that uh, okay. What, you want me to go talk to God on your behalf and be like, you know what? This person doesn't like your timing. Okay. Can you fix it? Thanks. <laughs> Can you shift everything around in the world? You know, I mean, sometimes we just have to, where was that card? Acceptance. We just have to accept that things, other things need to unfold before we can get to where we need to be. Okay. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.